and once again my name is Seth Skies yeah I'm a civil engineer and also a designer and also I usually do architectural drawings and today I just want to show you on how you can do a photo rendering of your plan yeah I just want to do a photo rendering something similar to this I have a drawing this is my drawing is how my drawing looks like uh, it's a four bedroom machinette plan and I want to project this drawing into what we call picture format and that picture format usually we, we do it through photo rendering setting so I want this project of mine to look exactly like this one here this is my project this is what you see here after rendering you are going to come up with something like this so I'm going to show you how it come up with something like this so first of all just select the viewpoint that you want to take that photo of yours I'll just select this view then on your top screen of your arch card you'll see many options indicated as file edit view design documents option teamwork windows you are going to use the window option on the window option see things like navigate close tab show windows overview i task bar so here you'll only scroll to palettes you see palettes here just click there and all scroll downward to photo rendering settings then click there it's going to bring you this form of this format so on this other sc screen we have settings and also you have the this is the scale of what is going to be produced immediately after you're done with the rendering oh it also contains the pixels the quality that you're going to use i usually like using the size of 800 by 600 the scale as my standard size under the scene i shall like you have so many options here i shall like using the custom as my scene under the engine you have the basic renderer cinema by max on the sketch i think those ones who you have used civo 3d and autocad know better about what cinema or cinema by max on what it all means but i shall like using the basic renderer so after that after setting this tool you just come to effects under the method and effects here's it it's what is going to determine the quality of the plan on how it's going to look like immediately after it's done with rendering so when you select the flat shading this shows the slow quality the plan that you drew here, it's not going to look exactly like this one that you are seeing here so just going to have a different preview plan with low quality specs are not going to the layout sheet even the background itself is going to be better so you just have to select the final or the best i should like using the best even though it should take a lot of time same to initialization and also the lights of the should like using the sun ever since i've not pressed any lamp so i'm going to disable the lamp key quality select the highest so i'll just come back go to background yes go i'm going to select my sky so here you just you have three options colors hciso and image so here you select image come to browse then when you come to browse it will bring you to this section here we'll have photos when you click on photos here it'll just take you to different types of skies you can see you have the fog ones the midday so skies the afternoon skies the storm skies and so on so with me i shall like using the afternoon sky and this one so just when you selected your best sky just come and click on okay then you just squeeze this to scale to fit on this on this brand image custom so from there i usually don't like using this okay when you click on this 
this thing that you are seeing here actually indicates on how your final output of the plan is going to look like the one that you want to do for trend line so with now i'm not going to use this one i'm just going to quick rush into this option that is indicating as the brand image with a, a camera format so this is what you are going to use when you click there it just automatically takes a picture of what is entailed in your plan so this is how your plan is going to look like after you place this option here so I just give it some time I think it's going to take a little bit time but not that long because it's not a heavy or a huge project so I think I'm going to take around one to two minutes not even two minutes around one minute and then it will be done as you can see my sky that I just chose from my background is already indicated in my background these trees that were that are already pressed here as you can see their shadows are portrayed on the grasses beneath them and also what else I have my car there also going to project its shadow those are the effects that are going to be produced when we are doing our settings of the effect brightness and background and also there's one thing I told you about when you're selecting the quality under the effect option you see I chose the best quality of what is going to be produced in my final rendering plan and this is now how my plan looks like as you can see it has got a better 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 quality as you can see let's give it time just want to analyze it when it has been done just give it some time as it process and from this section is you are going to save your I'm going to save your picture now you can save it to, to your desktop so that you can go and print it out in a PDF format this one you shall save them in a PDF format, not in a card format. But the plan that I showed you earlier, this one you shall save them in a card format. But when you want to print them, we also have to save them in a PDF format. So that you can just scale it down and put it in a layout sheet. Place the elevations, the plan, building section, and also place your notes there. Then once it it's done with everything, you then just go print it in a PDF format. Then you go and print it. Yeah, either in a colored format or in a blueprint format. It's almost done. This is exactly what I showed you earlier before before I started my pro photo rendering. This is how your plan is going to look like once you've done your photo rendering. As you can see, I can see the casting of my shadow. This makes it even to look exactly like a real picture 
someone may even think that just it's just a building that are being constructed somewhere i just went and stood in at some point and then i took a picture of it but it's not a photo that have been taken from a building that have been constructed but it's rather it's just a drawing that i drew and just precast it to a photo rendering settings yeah and then you project it to a photo put and adjust all the settings put your shadows and everything and then it's going to look like this is a 3d good as you can see it just look exactly like the one that i showed you exact earlier now just le let us try to look for the quality if you zoom in you can see everything here this is my windows yeah this is my balcony it's just a flat roof and also have my glass rails that I've placed here my car there with the shadows yeah my glass flowers trees sky everything just look amazing so if you want to print out this just come to files click on save us so i just want to save us this plan as picture 3 why do i want to save it in mac b 23 as plans yeah you can just select the folder where you want to save your plan so just click on save ever since i saved this plan i just click repress wow and that's how you'll do your photo rendering and save it in archcad it doesn't matter which archcad you are using whether you're using archcad 18 19 20 or 26 all archcad have the same procedure of doing the photo rendering set thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates like this stay tuned